so pleased the drug thing wasn't a problem. I don't think you'd have ever figured me so. No, neither would I. Uh, latte to go, please, Bob. You're keeping a low profile, not serious, this Christmas. No, oh, Lawrence whisked me away to Scotland for my birthday. Yeah. Stayed in this lovely, cosy little hotel overlooking Loch, um, something or other. <laughs> Pampered me rotten. Oh, and the pièce de la résistance was this. <gasps> How much did that cost him? Well, a girl never asked that question. But I googled it, and it wasn't cheap. <laughs> Snaring a millionaire has its perks, don't they? That's not why I married him. Hey, Bernice, do you know what I got for Christmas? Hang no. on, does. A jumper and an electric toothbrush. Which is what you asked for. I also said I would be happy to be surprised. Honestly, Paddy, can't you read between the lines? <coughs> Mrs. Walker shut the pony. I knew I was meant to be someone else. Why have you got a mug in <laughs> your bag? Oh, is that Chinese? Yes. No, it's Japanese. It means never regret what you can't change. When did you learn Japanese? It's just a quote from Seven Samurai. Ah, that's the original Magnificent Seven. That's Paddy's favourite film. Well, whoever bought you that knows you very well. It's just a client. Which client? Because I never got a present. This is Walker's pony. Yes, all right. Yes. Sly old dog. What do you mind? Jumpers. Nothing warms a girl's heart more than jewellery. I was ordering something for the surgery and that popped up. Of course you were. Saucy knickers, I beg your pardon. If you're looking for ideas, you sell bucket loads at Christmas. Is uh, rolling a big on pants? I'm trying to work, Bob. How's she doing? Look, I'll always care about her. If you cared about her, you wouldn't have run off with the lodger. It's not like that. Look, whatever's happened, I'm here for you, if you need to talk. Why would I want to talk to you? Well, maybe not right now, but... You know, in the future, if there's stuff uh, that's bothering you. Then I'll talk to my mum or Kane. I'm still your dad. Hardly. Not after what you've done. Just pack the rest of your... 